There are pleas today for lawmakers to take action after three mass shootings in just one week and those cries have not fallen on deaf ears. Well, on Thursday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Congress will take up the issue of gun reform after lawmakers return from their August recess. Adam Harding back in studio with more on the plan, and it really sounds like the NRA is already against the proposal. Not surprising here. And in what we need to tell you about is that the president has spoken with the NRA at least several times, according to CBS News just this week, and in a statement, the NRA leader says the proposals on the table would, quote, make millions of law-abiding Americans Americans less safe and less able to defend themselves. That's what the NRA is saying. Here's what we know right now at this morning. More than 200 mayors from both parties have signed a letter urging lawmakers to return to Washington. They're currently on recess, as you know. Atlanta's mayor is among those 200 mayors who have signed on to get them to return. This comes after last week's deadly shootings that killed at least 31 in El Paso and Dayton, Ohio. The president since has signaled his interest in background checks and has talked a lot about so-called red flag laws. CBS News has learned the president did speak with the NRA several times on Tuesday, and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says gun control legislation will be on the agenda after the August recess, but right now it does not appear that lawmakers will be returning to Washington before they are scheduled to return next month. We're going to have these bipartisan discussions, and when we get back, hopefully be able to come together and actually pass something. President said there is no appetite for a ban on assault rifles. The NRA in a tweet yesterday said that none of the current background check proposals would have prevented last weekend's tragedies in Dayton and El Paso. Tracy. Adam, thank you.